In this video, we're going to be covering three essential skills that you will need to become a digital marketing data analyst. And with these three skills, I really think that once you understand them and know how to get them, which I'll explain by the end of this video, you will really be able to set yourself apart from most of the candidates who apply because they don't really know or understand these skills and they really can't apply them or demonstrate them in a job interview, which is why you'll be able to set yourself apart. Uh, so let's get into this. These are uh, highly sought after skills in this department, which is why it's not easy to get. I wouldn't say it's difficult. It's not like being a neurosurgeon, but it's not easy. So let's get right into it. Now, the first skill, this skill is, is pretty common in this world is um, data visualization. Specifically, you know, these are tools that help you take analytics data from tools like Google Analytics and then visualize them in a pretty dashboard so that leadership or stakeholders can see. You use the tool to define what metrics to visualize and then you use your skills to you know, turn them into digestible charts and graphs for leadership. This is definitely a skill because um, I've seen some dashboards and charts that are just done in a very confusing way or they're not pretty, they're, they're cluttered. Um, so it's it also involves a bit of design help and design knowledge to be able to understand this, but also strategic thinking to identify the right skills, uh, right metrics and uh, analytics to visualize. And then of course, the actual underlying key skill is actually being able to use these tools. So some examples of big players in this market right now are Tableau, Power BI, and Google Looker Studio. And you may be wondering, well, you know, as a data analyst, I don't really necessarily need that, right? I just need to know programming languages like SQL. Well, for my specific job and the job title we're talking about, we're talking about a subset of a data analyst called a digital marketing data analyst, also known as like an analytics solutions engineer or digital analyst. This type of job has more of a, a wide breadth of uh, skills needed to kind of bring together the data analytics to leaders. And so you're not necessarily just gonna be programming like you would for a typical data analyst role. Okay, second skill that is of utmost importance is SQL is by far the most important, by far. So I would say Python comes in as a very close, not, not even a close, a far second. And so SQL, once again, this is a tool, this is a programming language that I, I believe is really um, really useful and I think it's very easy to learn. Once again, it's not neuro, it's not rocket science or neurosurgeon level of skill. Um, it's not necessarily flip of the switch easy, but if you could commit, I think you will learn it in like two months or less. There's so many free YouTube tutorials as well as hands-on trainings that you can learn from websites like codeacademy.com or udemy.com. There's courses on this that are relatively affordable. For 20, 30, 40 bucks, you can learn these. Once again, I'm not affiliated. I'm not sponsored by any of these. So choose the one that works best for you. Um, and, then, and then the third and final essential skill set that I believe will kind of catapult you above others is uh, analytics tools. And especially if you can get to a uh, proficient level of mastery of more than just Google Analytics. I think Google Analytics 4 is essential, but if you can throw in a few other tools like Mixpanel, Amplitude, or Heap, which are some of the other big players on the market right now, you can kind of uh, jump above the competitors you're applying against. This is a tool, let me emphasize, that um, is used, if you're not familiar, it's used and installed on a website so that you can actually see analytics. You can see how many website viewers, visitors you're getting, how often they're staying on the site, how long they're staying, uh, when do they uh, bounce on the site, you know, what marketing channels do they come from. It gives you all sorts of these metrics and typically people just def uh, install the free Google Analytics 4. So definitely master that, but generally speaking, you know, the more advanced, uh, sophisticated organizations or businesses are probably using something else beyond that, like a mix panel or Amplitude or Heap or something else. So by having that level of expertise, um, these other more advanced tools help you build some more skill sets and more ability to navigate other tools that you may encounter. So that will set you apart. Now I would say for skill one and three, they're not gonna be as easy to get experience and hands-on experience at because um, the tools are expensive and then 
you know, the tutorials are usually locked, you know, they're either on the website itself or it really helps if you can purchase and use the tool. And sometimes these tools can cost four, five, even six figures per year to invest in, Tableau being like one of the more expensive ones. So your best bet, in my opinion, is to, you know, get a free internship, paid internship, entry level job at an agency where they're using a bunch of these tools. Um, and these types of agencies and companies will train you on the spot usually, even if you don't have these skill sets, to uh, kind of get experience with these tools. So look for agencies or companies, uh, it could even be an in-house company that offers these uh, tools to their clients or, or just work with a lot of clients that have these tools. And I recommend agency over in-house if you can because you will get tons of experience across multiple clients and more opportunities and chances to learn these tools and put them on your resume so that you can use that as a stepping stone career to your next job as a marketing analyst. Hopefully you found this video valuable. Like, subscribe, and comment below. Enjoy my free email newsletter, which is linked in the description for more uh, amazing tips on this. I even offer the ability to book a free call with me to get some free advice, no strings attached, no you know, upsells or anything. Um, just me giving back to the community for a limited time while I'm free for the next uh, year or so. And thanks for watching.